Right, consonant place. S. And a vowel. A. Consonant. P. Vowel. E. A consonant. N. And another consonant. D. A vowel. O. Consonant. R. And another consonant, I think. And L. If you're ready, here's the clock. got for us this time Connor? Eight. Just the eight. John? Just the seven. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old John. What's the seven John? Slander. Oh that's a good word see. Slander is a good word but eight? Personal. Yeah. Personal. Personal is there. Up close and personal for eight. Jan? Susan? Well we can't do any better than that. Uh, we've got leopards for eight. Um, and Susie's got an interesting one, which is the word solander. Yeah, solander, S-O-L-A-N-D-E-R. And it's a box in which botanists keep their specimens, their botanical specimens. <laughs> 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 yeah. Thank you for the elaboration <laughs> and the no clarification. <laughs> so, solander, right, a word I've never heard of. Right, um, that's no surprise. Right, Connor, let's have your letters. Uh, consonant, please. N. And another. P. And another. R. And a vowel. I. And another. E. And another. I. Consonant. T. And another. D. And a final consonant. And a consonant. Thank you, Connor. S. And here comes that clock. So, John, any good? I hope so. <laughs> How many? Seven. Seven. Connor. Eight. Eight. Oh. Well, <laughs> John, what's the seven? Printed. 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 Printed is good. Eight, though. Intrepid. Intrepid. In yeah. Intrepid. Yeah. Intrepid. Now, the, inter the interesting thing was that you were shaking your head in doubt at the beginning of that, weren't you? You were going... I wasn't sure whether to put an S on the end. Uh, ah, would no. that have intrepid? It's would, just an adjective, yeah. Oh, you had, you had the eight. Or to, mm. It was just whether you could get a nine. Yeah, wouldn't that have been wonderful? Intrepid eight. Great word, though. What else have we uh, Well, if John had put an S in front of his printed, he would have got sprinted. Mm. Ah, oh, yes, yeah. so oh, bad luck. That's a bit galling, oh, yeah. sorry about that. Um, and there's also inspired, appropriately enough. Yeah. <laughs> inspired. Yeah. Three eights in a row he's got. That brings the total to 91 and 35. Uh, so well in the chance of 100. Uh, but uh, we've now got numbers. John, they're yours this time. Same again, I think. Same again. One yeah, from the top, John. Yeah, please. And uh, five small numbers. Let's see. Ten and three. Seven and nine. Two and seventy-five. And 279 is what we have to get. 75 times table here. Here we go. Right, how do we get on, John? No, nowhere. Nowhere? Opted out of that one. Connor? Uh, 279. 
Two seven nine. Why am I surprised? Not not surprised. Where you go? Ten over two is five. Yeah, very good. Ten over two is five. Subtract that from the nine. It gives you the four. four times seventy-five. Yeah. And subtract three times seven. Yeah. Three hundred. Then you have three sevens to twenty-one. Take them away. Two seven nine. <laughs> He's a young master, isn't he? Eh? Young master. The yeah. He's got your century. It's 101 plus 35. We have the conundrum yet to get. He's moved well out of reach of you, John, unfortunately for you, but he's, yeah, a, he's never mind. He, never mind. He's, he, he's pretty good, he's, he's, he? he's a star. Yeah. So um, get your fingers ready on those buttons. They're slightly to your right, as you see. Uh, so let's have today's countdown conundrum. Connor. Insomniac. Let's have a look. <laughs> Connor, Connor, you're a bit sluggish there. You're a bit it took you four seconds. I mean, what's going on? Are you slowing up? It was a one second yesterday. Uh, it's a bit harder. A bit harder. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit harder. Round of applause for our fine young champion. He's 14 years of age. 14 years of age, 111, 111, so he's champion for the second time. Now, John, that was a bit tricky today, coming up just against this point. Yeah, 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 you did OK. Brilliant, you did OK. I didn't do bad so at times. So. You enjoyed yourself? Yeah. So yeah, back yeah. to the old guitar now. And, yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. And a bit of football with Leighton Orient. Yeah, see how they stuff. get on this season. See, they've been doing quite well so yeah, far, haven't so they? Yeah, they're doing well. Barry right. Hearn, the chairman there, isn't he? Old Barry, yeah, a good yeah, friend of mine. put plenty of money okay. in, so... <laughs> he wouldn't like it if you didn't say that, but no, thanks for being with no, us anyway. I hope right. you've enjoyed the day. Okay. And uh, now, in the hot seat for tomorrow, we have Mr. Jeff Alderman from Belper in Derbyshire. Good afternoon to you. How are you feeling? <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> resigned. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be resigned. You've got to come in with an open mind and see what you can do. Well, so, I beat him on one round. <laughs> uh, yeah. We look forward to it. Well, you're cheerful about it. That's the, that's the most important thing, Jeff, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks for being with us. And uh, thank you to both our champion and challenger. Thank you, Jan. We'll see you tomorrow with some more voices. Thank Susie, thank you thank as you, ever. Jeff. Carol, thank, thank you, you very much indeed. And thank you for being with us again. And we will see you tomorrow, all being well. Bye now. <laughs>